Hello traders, welcome to a new video on a cryptocurrency screener known as Wallmine. Now I had a video suggestion to talk about another cryptocurrency screener uh, for scanning the market and looking for scalping opportunities. And this was suggested by Patreon member Francisco Yanez. And if you guys have any video suggestions or you guys want to vote on any videos, you can go to my Patreon and you can do exactly that. So Wallmine is a site that offers a cryptocurrency screener and a stock screener as well. And what we're going to look at today is scan through thousands of cryptocurrencies, or really 2,434 cryptocurrencies. Let's look for those that are very oversold or performing quite poorly and those that are performing quite well. Now, when I show these cryptocurrencies, remember that just because a cryptocurrency is doing well doesn't mean it will continue doing well. Just because a cryptocurrency is doing bad doesn't mean it will continue doing bad. And also, Try not to think of cryptocurrency trading as a bargain. You know, if the price really goes down 90%, it's tempting to think of that as, oh, you're buying this at a cheaper price, which, yes, you are. Um, but that can be kind of tough at times because price could go down 90%, you could buy, and the price could, could, could continue going down, um, and you're just bag holding the coin for eternity. So you need to look at more metrics than just is price high, is price low. So what I want to look for today is let's screen through some cryptocurrencies right now. Let's go for market caps of at least $10 million. And I want a performance in the last five days that has been um, very bad. Just, just for a start. We can also look at volatility if we want to see some very volatile. Um, but I'm just, going to keep it at, I'm just going to keep it at this. Okay. Okay, so what I see here is GXS has not been doing too well. That is a Binance coin. I mean, not Binance coin, but it's a coin that is traded on Binance. It's down 2.38% today, as you can see here. And one thing I want to say that uh, this site does that I think is really cool is relative volume. This is really just showing how much volume has been traded today versus the average volume traded in the last three months of a cryptocurrency. So when this gets to, you know, on GXS, we've had... 2.75 times the average volume just traded today. You can see these are their values as well. So let's go look at GXS, and apparently that coin is not doing well. Apparently the screener, and yeah, <laughs> that does not look like a healthy. Uh, that does not look like a healthy chart in in, in any shape or form. Uh, let's go see what this cryptocurrency is at right now. So it's at 485 Satoshi. All right. And it looks like it's about to break this level of support. So this is a cryptocurrency that has really not been performing well. Uh, that could be a buy sign. That could be a sell sign. It all depends on your own trading system. But what this scanner did is it alerted us to this opportunity. And we've also had a volume spike or a slight uptick in volume. Now, let's say that I want to look at um, something else. Let's instead look at some technical indicators. I'm going to go performance is back at other or just, okay, just, yeah, just I want that guy to go away. We could use SMAs, but what I want to look at is MFI. I want to see any coin that is oversold. And I also want to see any coin that has quite high volatility and is oversold. All right. Um, and this is all on the daily. STO, uh, I'm just going to keep it at these two. So there's only one currency, okay, there's one currency that has a market cap of at least 10 million um, and has an MFI oversold and is, and is quite volatile. What is that one cryptocurrency? Let's see. Gas. Okay. This is the one cryptocurrency that met our definition for, for what we were looking for. That's kind of cool. Just the one cryptocurrency, and here it is. So apparently this one is oversold on the daily, and it has at least 10 million in market cap, it has a 13 million market cap, and it has very high volatility today. And the relative volume is actually a bit lower than than, than average, and average volume is about 2.954 million. So this is interesting, but there's one other thing that I do want to show you guys as well. Look at this. So we see we see gas right here, right? I can click performance. I can see all the performance here. I can click technical. I can see you know how all the technical indicators are doing. Uh, how far away it is from the SMA 50 or the SMA uh, 200. I can see momentum. So we can see all the momentum indicators here on the daily. So we can see, okay, so it's got this RSI, it's got this amount of volatility, 
it's got this MFI, very low MFI. Um, ADX is kind of high. And remember, ADX is a sign of how strong a trend is. I've made videos on that before. We can look at volume. You know, I could just keep clicking these. I could, I could go to custom and I could choose, you know, a gajillion things. Company. <laughs> That's funny. Um, profiles. And this is the profile of, of gas, as you can see here. So really it gives you just the total information uh, that you might want to have, as you can see here. And we can see that most of gas is from Tether uh, in the last 24 hours. It hasn't been from Bitcoin. You can see it's OBV and you, you guys get the idea. Um, I could even go to news, I could go to bar chart, I could go to th 3D bubbles. What's the what's the 3D bubbles of... Okay. Okay, now, now I feel like I'm back in math class and I have to solve for the, the volume of the shape or something, so that kind of scares me. So let's, let's get out of the math class. Let's go back to overview. Let's see if there's any uh, other... Uh, not doing volatility. Yep, perfect. So these are... Um, cryptocurrencies with a market cap of at least 10 million uh, that have an oversold MFI. So we can see NPXS is uh, Pundi, NPXS BTC is oversold. Oh man, yeah, it's at it's at uh, an um, it's at a best bid of three satoshis. So I think that would clear. I think that would count as oversold. Um, it went from a price uh, a high. An all-time high of around 215 satoshi down to an all-time low of three satoshi, so it really is at its current bottom. Uh, it's just if you buy at three and it goes to two, that's a that's a that's a pretty big loss. But if it if you buy at three and it goes to like five, it's a pretty that's a pretty big gain. So that's that could be a low capital, high risk, high reward um, play. So that's an interesting one. As you can see there, and I could look at all these, you know, together the technical. I could I could compare all these. Look at this, see who the SMAs are. I could look at the momentum indicators and say, hey, who's got the lowest RSI here? Lowest RSI belongs to EGT. Uh, who's got the lowest MFI here? Lowest MFI again is EGT, and who's got the worst performance? EGT. As you can see here. Now, what we can also look at is let's look at cryptocurrencies that are actually performing quite well. I'm going to look at ones that are at least 5 million. I want to see performance has been high, at least 5% in the last um, 5 days. Let's say performance one month has to be positive. Cool. And it's probably, I don't want to touch the uh, SMAs, but uh, yeah, that looks good. So let's see, so there's 62 cryptocurrencies that are performing well. Let's see what these guys are. So Ethereum has, uh, not surprisingly, Okay, now actually what I want to do is I'm going to change this guy to a custom because I don't want the very, very big. I want market cap of at least uh, five. It's going to say five, five dollars, five million. Okay, hopefully it works like that. To only, I don't want to go beyond 30 million. So does that work? Is it going to let me do that? Did I type it in right? Yeah, no, that did work. Okay, good. So these are market caps between five and 30 million. Okay, just those intermediate one. So it looks like uh, Power has been doing well today. Power Ledger has been doing well. It's up 4.16%. Uh, and it has very high volume today. So let's go look at Power BTC. Yep, so it's it's been, it's been whipping around recently. And this one has been performing quite well, as you can see here. So really, as I wrap up this video, there are, there are so many things that you can do with this. You know, I could, one thing I do want to show here, um, is this kind of overview that I found pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, but the last thing that I do want to say is that really how you use the screener is up to you. There is no correct way to trade off of a screener. You know, you screen for something that's performing well, you screen for something that's performing not too well. Right now I just screen for, for these cryptocurrencies that have been performing well recently in the last month and the last five days. But in your mind, you could think that cryptocurrencies that are performing badly or oversold might be a good buy. So I'm going to share this link with you guys. You guys can play around with it. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop in the comments. But with that, happy trading, get screening.